Just finished rebuilding this 1968 Quincy Model 230 air compressor. It's record of change number 32. Uh, twin cylinder, three and a half inch bore, three inch stroke, uh, single stage. Uh, I had to rebuild this compressor because it started to make a uh, ticking noise in the valve area. When I took the uh, valve covers off, you know, looked inside, it was a corroded mess. You know, I was surprised the thing even worked. You know, so I had to do a lot of work to it. It ate, it ate a discharge valve at some point, and uh, I had to flatten the top of the piston, true up the head. I had to hone the cylinders because it looked like this compressor was seized many years ago or stored with uh, moisture in it. So I honed the cylinders, put new rings on there, flattened the head, uh, took all of the valves apart, suction discharge valves, had to flatten the bumpers on there, grind off in the, the seat area to make sure that the valve discs would seat and open and close nice and smoothly. Uh, the folks at Scales Compressor and Carl Place, you know, they helped me uh, upgrade, you know, give me the uh, suggested upgrades for this compressor, so I upgraded the valve springs and, and uh, valve discs. So everything's brand new on this compressor. I went through everything. New rod bearings, uh, new main bearings, new seals, new gaskets throughout. It's a brand new compressor. So now I have it uh, hooked up to a 7.5 horsepower single phase repulsion start induction run Wagner motor. It's a, uh, it's a 254 frame size motor. It's intermittent duty. I'm not sure what the original uh, design was for. Uh, but it carries a 50 amp uh, rating on the motor, which is about a 13 horsepower load. Although it's 7.5 horsepower intermittent duty and the time rating is special. So, uh, because that motor was sealed, there's no internal fan. I believe it's for, uh, you know, some sort of industrial application, you know, maybe closing airlock doors or a heavy-duty winch, you know, where uh, contaminants couldn't get into the motor, and it was only run for a short period of time. I, I plan on running this for 20 or 30 minutes, so I'm going to install a couple external fans to uh, keep the motor cool. Uh, it seemed in previous tests I could drop internal temperature by as much as 50 degrees with uh, just a simple cooling fan. So right now I have that uh, motor belted to the compressor so uh, in, a, in a 2 to 1 ratio. So every uh, two rotations of the motor is one rotation of the compressor. So it's running 885 RPM, which is pretty close to the compressor's governed speed of 900 RPM. Right now it's about 22 and a half cubic feet a minute you know, from this twin cylinder compressor. But what's interesting is that this motor, because it was designed for you know to start extremely heavy loads, the it starts the compressor instantly and the load you know that I could pick up on my clamp meter virtually does not change from zero to 120 pounds of air pressure. So I'm going to start it up.
the external unloader. So it varies less than one amp from zero pounds to 120 pounds of air pressure, which uh, indicates that the load is sized appropriately for this uh, motor. However, this motor will will get extremely hot without any external cooling. So after about 30 minutes, without any cooling, the case of the motor gets to 177 degrees, the windings get up to 217 degrees, but with a uh, cooling fan, the temperature of the case uh, drops significantly. Um, it was down to around 145 degrees on the outside of the case, and the uh, windings were, were only at 170. So, you know, 30 to 50 uh, degree Fahrenheit drop <clears throat> temperature just from a fan blowing through the uh, brush inspection cover to the and pushing all of the hot air out of the uh, ec the part of the motor where the two phase wires come out. So, yeah, there it is. Uh, <clears throat> it would be nice if I had two of these compressors, one that could run continuous with a uh, uh, more appropriate compressor motor and then a larger Quincy compressor that could be you know used intermittently with this big Wagner so, I, I plan to eventually have some sort of uh, you know thermocouple used so once the temperature of the windings in the Wagner hit about 175 degrees it would shut the motor off you know regardless of pressure or air demands you know it's not to harm the motor it's really hard to find uh, these big repulsion start induction run motors in good condition. This one was uh, new old stock. So it's only has about two hours of runtime on it right now. So I hope it uh, gives many more years of good service. Alright, thanks for watching.